Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna do the one year review of my co-op ARD 1.1. I got this bike and did a review almost exactly, exactly one year ago. And I just wanted to give you guys the updates as to how it's doing. One year, 1,700 kilometers and 1,000 miles later. All right, we're going to start off with what I've done with the bike since then in terms of riding. So as I mentioned, I've rode now 1,700 kilometers, a bit more than that in fact, mostly around here in Florida, so mostly flat, although I did take it to Colorado for a month last year. For me, it's been a really great bike to go on adventures around the city, around um, Florida, and even in Colorado, I did some pretty cool gravel rides. But a lot of the rides I've done have been really small, like 30 minutes after work or going to the Publix to get some groceries here and there. And for that, it's been awesome because it's not that expensive. And just to catch you up, I spent $170 on this, bought it used, barely used. I'll put a link down, down in the description to that video so you can watch that. So let's talk about some of the stuff that I've changed or updated on the bike since owning it. Starting at the top up here, I did replace the saddle because as you might remember in the other video, that it was a women's specific saddle didn't fit me too well this one's not super great either but i got it for like ten dollars on facebook marketplace obviously it's a poseidon it's good not great have a little saddle bag on here got a long time ago uh, got my uh, nog light awesome light i love the nog products the biggest thing probably that i've changed is the tires originally it had the 20 eight millimeter tires now we have some gravel king pan eraser 35s sk 35s which i really like and speaking of the tires and the size that's about as big as you can get not because the back i believe you could probably get away with 40s back here but it's actually the front fork that's limiting in fact if you are in a really muddy condition i'd be a little bit worried but i haven't had haven't had to haven't needed to uh, ride in the mud too much so I really like these tires. I find them just to be pretty much perfect for this bike. The other big thing that I did, as I mentioned before, is the one by. So I, I tried some different drivetrains, but finally I decided to go to one by, and I have to admit, I'm pretty much a one by convert. I just, I don't like dealing with the front derailleur stuff. It's super dirty now. The whole bike is mega dirty. I've been riding quite a bit lately. But the rear here is actually all original, all stock, haven't done anything to it. Of course, it's original chain, it's eight speed, uh, 11 by 34, I believe, original Claris rear derailleur and original Claris brifters, which have been awesome. They've been perfect. The handlebars, as I think I mentioned before, originally I thought they were too wide, but now after riding them for a while, totally used to them and they're very comfortable. Had to turn the bike around to show you this, but the other big thing I did is I updated the rear and front brake calipers to these hydraulic cable pull hybrid calipers. I have a whole video on that. I'll link that down below too. They work pretty good. Long story short, they work pretty good, but they don't really stop you that much faster. But they certainly look cool, I think. And they're a lot quieter. That's a big thing. As well as the one by, this is a different crank. I think this is just like an AliExpress type of crank. It's 170 millimeters versus the 165 that came on it originally, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. These pedals, I don't remember where I got these. At first, I thought that this, uh, this style of pedal was a bit of a gimmick, but actually, I love it. 90% of the time, I run the clipless, but occasionally, I want to ride around with my daughter with the flats. All these changes I've done have just been for my own entertainment and just own improvements, but the bike was totally fine as it was before. The only thing that's actually kind of worn out a little bit are the bar tape, especially on this side, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'll have to be updating that pretty soon. And I guess I could speak a little bit about the geometry. I was worried that it was gonna to be too small for me on 5'7", and the recommendation for this frame size, which is small, was up to 5'6" but it's actually been totally fine. And when I do upgrade to a new gravel bike, I'll probably try to go for a geometry very similar to this because this fits me very nicely. So overall, this has been like the perfect introduction to gravel bikes for me. Probably now I'm gonna start searching for something a little bit nicer, maybe the next level up, maybe with uh, hydraulic disc brakes and slightly wider tire clearance. But overall, it's been an awesome bike and uh, yeah, totally glad that I got it. Anyway, hope that was helpful to anybody. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please do feel free to leave them down, down below. Thanks for watching.